Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. Honestly. <laughs> Never have I broadcast quite so much. Um, I'm on because I found a new charity shop. Well, when I say I found it, that that's lying. I'm lying to you all. Um, I was told about a new charity shop, and apparently it's not that new. It's been open since November. And I didn't know about it. And the manageress of one of the uh, one of the stores that I go into said to me, oh, you know, which is your favourite store? And of course I said, well, you know, yours is one of my favourites. It's lovely. I don't get down here very often, but I, I very much enjoy myself when I come. And uh, she said, oh, have you, have you been to the new one up, up in Seven Oaks? I'm like, uh, uh, new one? She said, it's really big. Big charity shop. You've got to be kidding. All of our charity shops are tiny, squished, um, you know, absolutely very minute because I think rental space is very expensive but this is hopefully is not just a pop-up I hope it's going to be staying so I went for a looky see and yes I spent some money um I had to spend a couple of on, on parking which you know you have to factor in I suppose but I actually spent 44 pounds 50 which is a lot for me but you know I don't get everything at cheap cheap prices but what I did got I thought was very worth it I also did spend seven pounds in, in another charity shop while I was on my way. Hello, 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 Clapham. That's Richard, I think, isn't it? I'm I'm terrible, terrible with names. I hope I've got I hope I've got you right. Hello, Welsh Mundaneer. Hello, Miranda Files. Lovely to see you. I suppose it's a bit late for lunch, isn't it? I've just walloped some back and I'm having a cuppa in my grumpy mug. I'm not always grumpy, but if I don't get enough tea or coffee, I can't be grumpy. It's nearly the weekend um, and I'm very happy, Bunny, because I'm also going to be renting a new garage, which interestingly is right next door to the garage I currently rent. Hopefully, for Jordan, of course it is. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you've been called worse. <laughs> I'll try not to do that. Jordan, I should know, but I'm really, really bad. It takes me a while to I have this thing with names. I am appalling. Once I've seen somebody, that's it. I know them and but names yeah it's not because i'm getting old i've always been the same <laughs> thank you thank you jordan <laughs> mm. so yes very happy that i'm actually getting a new garage right next to the garage i currently got for the same money i currently pay for the existing one um i'm very lucky they came to me through to people who, who i know um, but two gouges will be so much better than one, and I can then move a fair amount of bric-a-brac that I've got down here, because that seems to take up a lot more room than clothes. Um, I can move it whilst I'm selling it and get rid of it, spread out a bit more so I'm not humping bags around so much. And I think it'll be worth it for the reduction in stress levels for the time being. And then if I need to go back to one garage, that's absolutely fine. I can do that. But I thought it's worth it for a, an easy life. Because, you know, sometimes it's worth it. Right, I will show you what I got. These I paid a five or four. Now, they might be staying with me. <laughs> I know they're very popular. They've got slightly muddy heels. Somebody went, went witching in a muddy way when they were wearing these. But uh, they're rather nice. They're Clarks and they're the ones with the buttons. I've got lace-up Victorian ones, but I don't have ones with buttons. So I might be trying those on, obviously, if they don't stay with me, because they're, how oh, why aren't they? I've got a tape measure along here, that's why I'm doing this. They're just over three inches high, which would make me five foot, I'll say five foot twelve, that's not right, is it? Six foot. <laughs> It'd make me six foot, which, you know, I don't mind being six foot, I don't have a problem with it, but it's, I'm not very experienced at being on heels, so I'm going to have to test them out. If I don't get on with them because heels, then they will get some. These, this particular, this there is a name for this particular style. And all the keywords are going to be things like steampunk, goth, witchy, etc. Um, but I'd like them to stay with me. They just need a bit of a clean up, a bit of bit of Doctor Martin's Wonder Balls. And they are black, not blue. I keep thinking they're. Like, I'm, I'm one of those people that finds telling the difference between very dark blue and black a bit tricky. Hello, hello, Antoinette. Oh, it's a Friday afternoon. I did a load of posts this morning. 
And I've got one thing I'm not able to find at the moment, which is very annoying, so I need to have a proper sort out. But I felt like going out. The other thing I bought, I paid two pounds for this. Take the price tag off it. It's a cute little cushion. It's in incredibly good condition. I believe that's a bee on it. So I might know someone with a bee who might like this. Um, but, you know, an initial isn't so bad. You know, it's not like it's got a complete name on it, but it's, it's very nice quality. Um, I'm just trying to see if it has a zip so you can open it up. I don't think it does. Which would be annoying because how are you supposed to clean it? But anyway, I thought that's that's quite stylish. I paid two pounds for it. It was a bit of a might, there's someone it might go to, they might not want it, but I can resell it because it it, it looks it looks new. It, it really looks like it's had absolutely no use at all. And it's got gold on it. So we'll pop that over there. Right, so that, that was the £7 I spent. So that's on top of the £44.50 that I spent in one shop, which that's quite good going for me. I normally, I don't like to pay out. <laughs> I'm a bit tight. Um, but, you know, I couldn't believe what I found today. Right, first things first. Now you think, when you go into a new charity shop, what tends to happen is they price up all the clothes really, really expensively, especially the ladies' stuff. Um, but if they're going to miss anything, it tends to be menswear, where they don't have such expertise, and the other odds and ends, the accessories, um, some bric-a-brac, just stuff that, scarves and stuff that sneak under the radar. So I will always pay super attention to those, even if it's a very spendy shop, and I'm like, there is no way I'm paying £15 for an ordinary jacket. But this is in quite a posh area, so, you know, prices to match. I paid five whole pounds for this lovely umbrella now not only is it in the sunniest most lovely sort of egg yolk egg yolk yellow um it's in very very nice conditions and proper old proper vintage one with metal and wood at the bottom and what sealed it for me was the fact that it's aqua scooter now i think you all know that aqua scooter do things like raincoats and you know they're quite a posh brand in their own right um, as well. I'm just taking these off as I go because otherwise I'll forget and I'll be photographing these a little later if it doesn't get too dark out there <laughs> I do need good light so it, it, the, the aqua scooter is actually on this bit now occasionally if you're out and about with umbrellas you will find ones that actually have silver solid silver or silver plate metal bits I made sure it was working I opened it up indoors which isn't unlucky because I didn't open it completely and I'm not superstitious in that way, but it's got no holes, no fading. It's really rather lovely. And I think that'll go very quickly. It, the colour for being so cheerful, and also you're less likely to leave it on a train or a bus. <laughs> I had an orange one for years. <laughs> oh, probably. But, and it's just so elegant. It's probably from the 70s, particularly with that colour. Made to last, Jordan, you're absolutely right, made to last. Um, it's just a beautiful quality thing. Um, I did have a quick flit on eBay and it'll do fine. It should do all right. Um, I did get some clothes, not a huge amount. What do we have here? Okay, I paid £3.50 for this. And this was really at the very cheap end of what they had on offer. I picked it up because it's a little, little black jacket. One of these ones that will go over a summer outfit, jeans, a bit of a crop style. A bit cake moss, that sort of thing. But it is no and ever, and I find that no and ever does all right for me. <coughs> Excuse the frog that made an appearance there. No and ever does very well for me. This is the slightly tuxedo style one. It's got a nice low front. Really stylish. It's got a little fading, but it's got all its buttons and no holes. Now I nearly wept. I had a look at the. I do kind of quite like kilt things and do quite well with them. There was a really long kilt, long length kilt, and two short ones. I thought, oh my God, they only want four quid for it. <laughs> yes. Well, I checked it over and it had moth holes. I mean, quite serious moth holes. The moth had had a three course dinner, it hadn't just had a nibble or snack. It had a full three course meal with wine. I mean, seriously, the holes were everywhere. So I, I couldn't, I couldn't buy it, but I was gutted because all three of these skirts were stunning. Small sizes, vintage. <sighs> Holes, no. 
probably why they had them priced cheaply, but I was thinking, if you're going to do that, you should say on the label. Um, right, another thing I tend to like picking up are vintage wallets, especially in, if they're in a nice quality leather, and this is oak calf for some reason. I love the way they have all the shilling signs and things here. Fabulous. You know, oh, yes, it's been used, but it's in very, very good order. Um, little pocket here at the top. These are lovely, these old style wallets. And they don't go for a huge amount of money, but I just like to see them go to a good home. Uh, that cost me, you don't really pay three pounds for that. Okay, well, you know, so I'll get 15, something like that for it. That's not my, a, a particularly good flip, but it'll do. These I bought out of curiosity for me because they were normally very expensive. These are beeswax food wraps and there's one of each size. B0 waste. Clearly they've been opened. I'm hoping they're all still in there. So I realise they've sellotaped it. Where are my scissors? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's going to make a mess of it all now. I hope they're all in here. Set of four. Premium quality beeswax food wraps. And these are supposed to be better than using cling film. I very rarely resort to cling film. Okay, well, two of them have clearly been used, so I won't sell them on. But there. Oh, they smell of beeswax. You warm them up and then put them over the food and it creates a seal. I don't mind if they've been pre-used, but I won't try and sell them. I got them off my own curiosity. Um, oh, <laughs> didn't think it through where I was going to put them. Onwards. Another item of clothing that didn't have any holes in is this. This was three pounds. The price is quite variable, but I wouldn't want to pay any more than that for anything. I really don't, not unless I know it's a big ticket item. Because, you know, I just, I want my profit margins to be high. I don't want to sort of have a massive turnover and then realise that very little of it's profit, and that can happen. Now, this is a vintage, and this is a 70s label, mm -hmm. St. Michael. There we go. That says it's a size 10 now. Now, a mouse would struggle to get into that. Maybe one of my thighs would just about get in there. And I'm not the biggest person in the world. There we go. The waist is, as it would have been in those days, a 24-inch waist. So you're literally very tiny. But it's so long. Big O-line. The fabric is beautiful. It's got a touch of the William Morris's about it in the colourway. It's not one of his designs, but it's velvet. Uh, uh, of course it will take time to sell because it relies on somebody being quite tiny. But there are people out there who are, particularly the younger persuasion. And uh, I, I just loved it. So, yeah, a bit wary of buying tiny, tiny things. But they do sell. I put all the measurements in. I'm very careful to say what I will often say is it fits a modern six, which that probably would fit a modern six. You'd be very lucky if you were an eight to get in it unless you had quite a small waist. Um, but even despite that, stuff still comes back with people saying, it doesn't fit me. So put the measurements in. But I do accept returns. Right. Okay, we're on to the slightly bigger things now. Here we have, uh, this, these are probably, you know, these are the ones, that, this is where the money's going to be. Or some of it anyway. What exactly have we got here? Yeah. Okay. For four pounds, we have what can only be described as thing, thing, designs that I don't like, but that I know people do. It's got that on the reverse side. This is the main design. It's a duvet cover. But these kind of sort of faded country cottage styles are rather in, but I checked the inside because it's worth having a delve, digging about and seeing what the label inside said, because this said what I always like to see, which is Dorma VNA. Now, they don't all go for massive amounts of money, but this is also, I believe, a single. This is a single duvet, but it did come with two pillowcases. Oh, no, hang on a minute. That's, hang on a minute. Right, that's that's the actual regular size, proper size pillowcase. 
I know, not my not my idea of a good time at all. And it's got all this fringing on as well. What's that in bed? Is it just me? But you know, people get a design that they like, they will spend out for it. And I say that as someone who recently splashed out on a really rather lovely set of bedding for myself. This is a big square one. So that's the most enormous kind of oh, I don't know, would I sell that separately? Would I just throw it in and say, you know? Oh. But then it would make sense of it as it's a single to just have one regular pillowcase with it. So pay four pounds for that because it was unusual and having i mean look at the colors on that fringing it's it's got it'll have a name i'm sure it'll have a name of the design they usually do polyester cotton so it's poly cotton it just says vna museum collection inspired by the collection of the vna in london so it's probably under license they're probably allowed to do that um yeah so that, that should, you know, depending on the design, if that design is particularly popular, it will do very well, but it will still make a profit. Oh, hi, Jane Brown. Hello, hello. The one that really grabbed my attention. I've sold this before. This, and it got admiring glances from the people, poor people in the queue who were behind me <laughs> because I bought up half the shop. This is almost like a, a tapestry, it's like a jacquard kind of texture. Huh? I have sold it before, so I should remember the name of it, but I don't. And if I can find a libel, it might tell me what it's called. Right, Sanderson, yeah, a good brand. Sanderson Options, that's the range. And then there is a name for this, but people like this rich colour. It's got cord on it. It's, it's very high quality. It is very quality made. So there are two pillowcases because I believe this is probably going to be a double. If it's bigger, it'd be even better. Bizarrely, it was inside out. <laughs> it's the other way round. Yeah, four pounds. Very happy with that. So it's not going to give me the name of it. Polyester and cotton. Polyester and cotton, but it really is chunkily made. Surprisingly heavy. Which means, I, and it's got buttons on poppers. Which I, I think quite often the better quality ones do. Let's have a look and see what size it is. Oh, Lizzie and Louie, you've caught me live. <laughs> you have indeed. It's because I only ever do lives, but <laughs> obviously people catch up with stuff if they're bored later on. All right, let's get this right way around. Oh, I'm making my mess of this. I love this rich red colour, I must admit. Oh, the fun bit. It's not the colour of my room. I wouldn't take this. This might be a bigger size, actually. Oh, dig, 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 dig. Oh, bear with me a moment. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Good chunk of some just thoughtfully put it inside out. So. I do like a nice quality one. Certain designs, and I think a lot of the VNA stuff, whether they've made it. The one I've got is William Morris, the one I bought myself. I bought it new. I found in the charity shop a double one, which goes in my camper van always for guests, and then decided actually I wanted that on my bed. And it was probably the world's most expensive duvet cover. <laughs> oh, I for one uh, Yes. So if we get the side way around, we can see what size it is. Because the Super King is wider than it is long. And this is quite a size. So I'm wondering if it's the Super King. I will have to measure and find out. Looks like it's got all its buttons. But there we go. I mean, it really is a splendid, splendid thing. And there's a good bit of money in that. Because I don't think, I think maybe a lot of the designs aren't done anymore or someone's worn one out and wants another the same or a backup set <laughs> ah lots of subbing going on that's lovely I do like a bit of that I, I tune in I watch some of the Americans not all the time but I get I get people that I like and I get people whose accents might irritate me which is my accent will probably irritate some people too I get that completely <laughs> I do have a low tolerance level sometimes. Um, 
or maybe what they're picking up isn't the same thing that rings bells in me, but I do learn from them, um, which is useful. I will show you something that is as a direct consequence of learning from them. Right, this is another example of forgotten things, accessories. We have here, I mean, that. No. oops, <sighs> these sort of men's scarves. Love a bit of Paisley design. This happens to be a two tail one, which is quite a well known two tail and Sammy. Um, again, they were going. What did I pay for this? Just take the bloody label off, haven't I? Again, I paid more than I would like to pay, but I kind of like, well, they can go for good money. I think I paid £2.50. Wouldn't want to pay any more for that. But they, depending on the design, they can go various amounts of money. That's quite a nice design. Sort of lightly fringed ends. That's a two-tail one again. I think this one, which is more of a shiny material, more of an acetate. This is a Sammy. This looks like it was new. Oh, where are my scissors? Oh, bear with me a minute. They kind of used two. A double. I don't quite use it. Oh, there we go. Right. There we go. That's a very, that's a nice geometric one. Very loud. Very good wood. Um, that's one of the keywords I tend to use. Very dapper gent. A bit mod. Particularly the geometric ones rather than the paisley ones are more mod. Um, and there are people that like to wear these, so I'm happy to oblige. Some some can go for a lot of money if you get proper silk ones. I picked up one tie. It's probably a bit silly because I have a backlog of ties, but I couldn't resist this one. A good brand. Fox and Chave, that's a good brand. Uh, silk, obviously, but look, dodos. <laughs> dodos. That's just, it tickled my fancy. I thought that'll appeal to a, to somebody. <laughs> dodos on it. Um, yes, and that was £1.50. So you can see how the money's mounting up, because there I am, scooting around all the bits that nobody wants to buy from. Uh, Sorry, Lizzie and Louie have just, just backtracked and realised that <laughs> Jordan isn't Jason. <laughs> oh, we're all doing us. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Hopefully it's logged in the databanks now and I remember. I do hope so. Jordan, I do. <laughs> but you have to excuse me. Blanketsies. Well, I loved the... Uh, tartan colour here. I don't pick up every every blankety thing I see, but for £2.50 I was really hard pressed to say no to this. And I do look for labels, I do want to know what brand it is and if it's vintage or not, because that matters. And this one came with a lovely label, oh, which I'm showing you really badly. Yeah. Pen match, no rug, yeah, Welsh, made in the heart of Wales, all wool. I mean, how lovely. I mean, it's not the Welsh blankets that I think of, the tapestry ones, you know, the ones with all that intricate design. I love those, really do. But it sounds like there's a bit of craftsmanship gone into this and it felt lovely. I don't think there's any moth holes. Although, of course, you can't really open them out. No, I think we're all right. No major issues. Um, again, with people possibly going camping or getting their camper vans out, that may be a thing, or someone may want it as a throw, or just because it's got lovely colours in. But I thought I can't go wrong with that at two pound fifty. I wasn't leaving that behind. Now, the last thing is the best thing of all. There I am, slightly overwhelmed, I have to say, by this charity shop because it's enormous. <laughs> absolutely huge i mean not huge in the sense of the american ones you know it's not it's not like they're goodwills but yeah you think that's a gorgeous packet wait till you see this i spotted as i was scooching over towards the linens having given up a little bit on the clothes because they were quite spendy i spotted a pattern <laughs> now i only know about this because of watching some of the americans 
This is brand new with its tag from the Hudson's Bay Company. One of those blankets. One of those. Look. The one, two, three, four bar, I think they call it. And it's brand new. Extraordinary. 100% wool. Made in England. Now, it's, it's called the Caribou Throw. Caribou Throw something. Jetty. Oh, that's French for throw. Isn't it? Um, 2000 schoolgirl French. Now, this is wool, so it's already given me the slight heebie jeebies. How stunning is that? It's like, oh my god. And it's brand new and it has its bag with 100% wool, 106 by 76 centimeters. So it's not really, a, it's a throw, not a full blanket. That probably will affect some of its value. However, I paid, I did pay £10 for it. But I'm quite confident that that's going to go for a considerable amount. But have a little look, because I can't resist. Hello, friend of ours. Yes. I mean, it was so beautiful, and I've only ever seen these things on... It's, it's like there are uh, some of the American resellers who will pick up things like Pendleton blankets and stuff like that. And I was thinking, how gorgeous. Never see anything. You get the old tartan blanket. And possibly I have found merino wool blankets, which do have done quite well. The regular vintage blankets is a little of a saturated market, it has to be said. So I kind of, I kind of step away from too much of that. But if we go into eBay, I'm curious. I'm just, I'm itching with curiosity. That's I should be looking for jewellery and things, but I find it so much easier to make a better profit margin out of, oh, some, something, uh, to make a better profit margin out of clothes and this kind of stuff, the sort of accessories and home goods. Uh, what do they call it now? Hudson Bay Caribou. Let's just see what it comes with. Oh, okay, it's blimey, someone's made a blanket out of something similar. Oh, well, Hudson Bay made a blanket coat. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, throw. Well, it's, there's one, oh no, hang on, they're not, they're not sold. Uh, hang on, let's do sold first. But they're over £100 in America, which is useful to know. No exact matches here. Hudson Bay blanket, 3.5 point. That's oh, that one's full point. Uh, 81 by 63 inches. Right, this is small. And that went for 87 pounds. But these are pre owned. This is brand new. So I'm kind of. Now, why has that gone there? Someone's done a Hudson Bay blanket, new with tags for 34 pounds. Why? It's a 3.1. Uh, no, it's a 4.1. And it's a full blanket. Why would anybody let that go for that amount of money? How silly. Sorry, it's, it, and that's a... Well, that's very silly of them to let it go for that amount because they're going at various height, various sizes. 3.5 stripes. But that's got four stripes, so why are they calling it 3.5? I'm going to have to do some research into this. Well, that's what I was thinking, except it doesn't seem to have a barcode. Unless there's one inside the tag. Mm, no. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. I'm gonna I'm gonna aim high anyway, um, just just because I'm not in a hurry for it to go out and um, it's it's brand new in its back and it's it's can sit in its back that's fine. Uh, yeah, the coat the coats and things go for a lot of money if you ever see a coat with those stripes. Um, but flicking through, oh, it seems the colour may make a difference. So this is blue, green, red, yellow, and blue. Yeah, 
maybe the size is working but you know i'm still going to get 50 quid out of it i'm sure so i'm still happy with that i think it was just so overjoyed to actually find it i paid a tenner hello shelly <laughs> um yeah i uh i paid a tenner for it but it's because i thought it was so stunning i couldn't possibly leave it behind um that may be yeah the bigger ones are going for more absolutely but you know if i get 50 quid out of it i'll be i'll be happy it'll go to a, a good home very tempted to keep it i won't something this color when you have a when you have a black and, t and a tabby cat is just pointless <laughs> but i'll certainly keep, keep an eye out for things going cheap online um <laughs> so yes i've got to find a way of getting it back in the bag so it doesn't look quite so mullered but yeah how cool is that most most lovely so i did spend out today it wasn't my sort of cheapy cheapy church shell kind of thing but you know it's it all balances out and i think there's some good profit in some of those things i'm very much very much loving my yellow umbrella that's what i did with it um i think that's going to do rather well as well so there we go i've managed to waste half an hour of your time <laughs> half an hour of yours and mine time really i suppose i should get back to bagging stuff up ready to take it up to the garage and then start thinking about how to reorganize this room so that i can store stuff at the other garage <laughs> so to all 25 of you watching those in the chat and those just having a lurk it's lovely to see you and i will see you again next time so take care and i will see you soon <laughs> bye bye now <laughs>